the sun dogs out and about. So here's between Stanley and Berthold. So we're talking in the north from Jennifer, uh, Jennifer Fettig about uh, even some blowing snow. And that is probably uh, and more than likely the reason why we saw these sun dogs because of the ice particles being lifted off by the wind. So then the light comes across that creating the scenes that you do see. So now that is uh, also very typical when it comes down to the chilly temperatures. Look at Williston. We had a low this morning of eight below. Radiational cooling was likely the impact of that just because we had uh, we did have some wind, but they've since lightened up, especially as the morning went on, but clear skies and a snowpack. So that allowed the northwestern region to get a little bit chillier than expected. But we were right on the forecast there with Bismarck, just seeing practically no snow on the ground where we're looking at snow depths in the north about a foot of snow. Now today we also have that push of the cool air with a high pressure in place. So that's why we're still feeding in the northwest winds and our low pressure system from yesterday is really well into Canada at this point, but it's still around just less and less of an impact for it here in North Dakota. So you do see the northwest winds occasionally turning out of the west at times five to 10 miles per hour and that is it. In other words, it is a really, really nice day with the blue skies and they're going to carry us through for the rest of the day today. The only thing is because of that high to our north pushing in some of that cooler air highs in the north will only be in those teens to the twenties way down there in Bismarck. We have those northwest winds going for us though, so that's not going to be changing. Now there is a lot of that snow melt happening unless you were in the southwest where there's hardly any snow still, but we're going to reach about 32 degrees there, maybe as warm as 35. 8 o'clock this evening, back to the teens we go. Most of us do fall back to the single digits. There is a chance of radiational cooling again, so I wouldn't be surprised if maybe we see some more places in the northern latitudes to go below zero degrees versus the teens in the southwest. So then hello to tomorrow. We're looking at Friday to be in the 30s in most locations. Mine not a little bit cooler because of that snowpack again. So you're getting kind of the gist here of our forecast where these uh, snowpack, where the snowpack could keep us a little bit cooler than where we should be compared to those who don't. So Friday in the southwest will hit the 40s, even Buffalo 46. So as that high pressure system moves in, moves out, it'll turn into a south wind as we go into our Saturday with a warm front coming through. So a lot of us on Saturday will be hitting the 30s to the 40s to near 50 degrees for some of us once we go into our Sunday. So Sunday is going to be the time to be at. Don't forget about turning the clocks though from Saturday night to Sunday. So we'll lose an hour of sleep. And once we see that pattern change, we're going to keep it warm right into Monday. But I keep emphasizing the snowpack because that really will be limiting our temperatures here, Krista. And it shows when we're in our seven day forecast because the northern latitudes probably won't be getting to the 50s unless that snow really melts, but I don't see it melting that fast. Sure, and if, even if it does melt that fast, that could spell trouble. So Absolutely. maybe a cool slowdown is what we're looking for. And two, yep, uh, with the freeze and thaw too, ice is building again along rivers, so it's still something to keep an eye on. Absolutely, thanks so much, Heidi. Yep.